Hello guys, welcome back to the next episode of Let's Play Crusader Kings 2. So, we're currently being attacked by Brittany for them wanting to take my capital. Which I don't particularly want them to do. As you may understand. Um... now Christian or Catholic I guess um, oh a range patrol that's what I wanted to do I don't have it I really need Pregnant yet? No. <sighs> Come on, you got plus five percent fertility. Put it to you, please. Let's get a decent amount of troops. I can maybe start making some inroads on. Places like this. I don't really want to get mercenaries in because I don't think I'm going to be able to afford to pay them. get the money to increase that. Yeah, castle fortifications I'm not too concerned about. Oh, well, there goes my... Uh, he might be blinded or... Turn into a eunuch. Oh, wow! So not only is she slow, she people are ruthless. Oh man, now there's a peasant revolt! Come on, people! Okay, so I need a new spy master. Son, him blinded. Um, I'm going to send you to the Papal Sea, I think. I should at least be a little bit safer. Okay, now that the actual forces of France are keeping them busy... I can start making some inroads into uh, um, I don't know what these people are doing down here if I was running this war and I had King Henry of Scotland offering me troops, and he was down in the south of France sunbathing, or whatever it is he's doing, I'd be really pissed. Great. So they blinded him. Man, oh man, these Byzantines are brutal. So I got my son on one flank. Uh, 
and I got Humbert on the other. Let's see if we can start making some inroads. I don't really want to fight the Normans, or Normandy. The lady almost ran me down as I entered the hall. Tearfully, she told me that my ward Irina's insulted her again. Well, it has to be. But, my dear lady, you are fat. Nope, can't do that one. I might be able to do that. There we go. So I don't mind sieging that. Let's see where they go. Okay, so they're starting to move north again. I really hope you would get rid of these damn wars. Nice. No, I'm not making my daughter-in-law the uh, spy master. You'll get your eyes poked out. Oh, come on! Nicely done. Thank you, France. You finally pulled your thumb out. So they should, in theory, be able to crush this because the morale is falling through the floor. So now we can start making headway into Brittany. Because they've only got 566 left, and I haven't actually seen many actual troops from Brittany. They've all come from mostly Scotland. Pregnant? Let's see. I'm not really sure what I want to do with her. What? Holy shit, son. Age 63 and you just had a kid. My half brother. What? Well, he doesn't have any claims, so... His claims are pretty far down the totem pole. You know? 35 galleys. How many troops are they sending out? If they send out, like, another... Like, 5,000 people, I'm gonna be really pissed. 2,500. Oh, it's not great. Mayor Macbeth. How many troops can you raise? Go for pleasures in the afterlife. We're not going to go for the uh, full bore celibacy yet, I don't think. Great. <laughs> I think I'm going to try and, um... Shit. Nope, nope, nope. We're going back to here. Just because they got... Okay, no, I can handle that. I can handle that. 26th of December. This could be bad. Fuck. Yeah. That's not good. Nice. One marshal? Ten? Yeah. I hope he just doesn't die. Well, I mean, it won't be terrible. If he dies, it won't be terrible, because then I'll just take over his England, and then I'll really crush Brittany. You know? 
I'll just... Man, they've got even more troops coming. So they can only bring three... Th 300 men? Defeat. Yeah, that was kind of expected, though. Nice! Prove the plan. What's the... Uh... 86.5! Nice! So what wars do we have going on? That one's almost... done. This one's almost done. That one's almost done. So it's not terrible. Um... It's just so frustrating not have... YES! <laughs> Have some of that, King Henry. Sweet. Huh. So, is he still helping out with... He isn't! Nice! Sneaky, sneaky. Now... One person. I don't think one person is going to cut it. Myself. But that certainly made my life a lot easier now. Um, because then hopefully... I'll be able to uh, get my troops... Uh, my troop limit back up, or get some troops actually trained, and then I can, uh... Okay, yeah. Yeah, you're a bit pissed at me about that, but... You're not a great spy master, but you're certainly not terrible. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to send you to the Papal Sea to study technology. And, uh... Then, hopefully, if... When he dies... Because he's 60 now. My son can take over as the Marshal. And I can just find myself another Spy Master. Okay... It's an old one, because we're not besieging out there in Rennes anymore. Dawns you one day, there are plenty of intrigue happenings right under your nose. Your servants from the kitchen maids to the stable boys share juicy gossip with each other on a daily basis. If you want to improve at this twisted game of manipulation and deceit, then perhaps you ought to dive in and join the prattle. Said and done. Yeah, good. King likes me. Oh, nice. So they got the air. Nice. Okay, so uh, very well. I shall be merciful. You're happy? Of course you're happy with your un upbringing. Dear, oh dear. Um... Why can't I? Oh, I guess they won't let me educate her. Well, that sucks. Um, 145 gold. I can't afford it. Okay. Um, I'll be nice. I want to release you from prison. <laughs> 
She's been released from prison and she's still being, uh, <laughs> still being educated by me. <laughs> Taking part in the gossip sessions of your servants has proved an enlightening experience. Not only have you learned of new ways to obtain sensitive information, but also that one of the milkmaids is secretly carrying the blacksmith's unborn child. Oh, the scandal. <laughs> Let's have a look. Nice, so I got nine intrigue. Prove that. Um, yeah, I don't really want to go down that route yet. We'll become Marshall, I guess. So how long is the peace for? So the peace is with France. Oh, another guy being died because of complications of being blinded. So, he has peace treaty with France, but he doesn't have a peace treaty with England. And it looks like it would be pretty easy if I could get... If I had to do this, I could raise all my troops here in England, or everywhere, and then the ones in England I could just drop into Kent, take the ships, pass them across, straight to Dover, and then I can just disband, or send them back and then disband them. Uh, my daughter-in-law wants to have a daughter? Well, start doing something. It would be very handy. Oh, slow that down a bit. Okay, so I could build... can't quite yet build it. There's a possibility I could build a barracks. Um, I don't have any technology that I can improve, but do I really want to improve the barracks yet? Probably not, because once this guy dies, It's, uh... This guy is going to be taking over. So... This is matrilinear. See if you can get diligent. Nice. It's even better now. So. Um. He's okay. He's gonna get a scar out of that. Infirm. Great. There's nothing worse than when you're um character becomes infirm as a uh, as a leader because a regent takes over and it just becomes really annoying because you can't do anything would be handy. See, the nice thing about this is that she would give half of her stewardship bonus to her husband. Or in... um, I thought I... Gray Eminence. Diplomacy plus nine. I could do that, maybe. I, I could do I do that at the end, though, because there's not really... He doesn't have any other skills. So... Uh, charitable, brave, content, 
don't really want gluttonous and don't really want envious. If I can help it. Uh, I'm not going to do him because he's arbitrary. So is he. I want to do him. I think. Because he certainly has a bunch of useful skills. He's envious. And then we get a weak claim on the HRE. Oh, sorry. She gets a weak claim on the HRE. Um... No, no, not going to do it. Going to be good. Going to behave. You're not pregnant yet. You're not pregnant yet. Oh, but she's a falconer, though. Plus one diplomacy. Nice. The barony of top. What? <laughs> Stop that shit. End plot. Yes. <laughs> Excuse me, my sister wants to kill me. Please. Yeah. You scheming woman. I mean... I could understand you wanting to kill Richard, since he's the King of England, and you've got like a claim on it, but... Okay, normal city tax law, so hopefully that means I'll get an increase. What I could do, though... Um, I can increase the tax income, if I can, uh, rather than just the military side of it, because at least then it means that I'll get a little bit more uh, money, hopefully. So that was in tours, wasn't it? Um, training ground... Mm. Nope, I'm going to do Castletown. That's what I'm going to do. So if I can get more tax income, that's never a bad thing. And because it's in the... Um, because I actually own it, I should get a benefit from it. Oh, it's best, I guess, to unpause to try and get the game to continue. Since you arrived at Andrew, there's never been a shortage of soldiers reinforcing the troops stationed there. Under our guidance, they believe fame and fortune awaits them. Oh, I wouldn't quite go that far, but, you know, it's a nice prospect, I guess. Nice. Our military organizations increased, or our knowledge of military organization, which should does that mean I can increase? I get a bigger retinue. No. Okay. I mean, as much as I would like to help out with this war against my son, I don't particularly want to because means I'm going to have to raise my troops and 
Gotta deal with all that. And I gotta wait even longer for my troops to, uh... I promised to range it. So do I have a title I could give him? Um... Folk title. I'm not really too concerned if he. I mean, he loves me anyway. Uh, I promise to arrange it. I mean, I'm not going to give him a huge title. I'm just going to give him a barony. Well, that's unlucky. You got a wife and she's celibate. Gotta love that minus 1,000. Oops. I mean, I guess I could always just give him tours. The sigh. Peasant revolt's done. Nice. So we get a change in the war score. Prestige gained. Are you tell me that 993 troops aren't enough to. Uh, oh, I got 85 over there. Didn't mean to do that. Okay, so the Normandy War should be over now. My beloved wife Matilda is constantly bored and keeps talking about a new fashion she's heard of. Now she wants to be introduced at court. Charitable is always nice. How much money do I lose? Sure. It's like charitable. It's 14 gold, I mean, it's... Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't think he's gonna make it. Revolt's done. Man, a thousand people isn't enough? Are you serious? I 
Well, let's see if we can... Okay, so thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And come back next time while we try and get this title for our son.